Hello everyone. Do you remember that last day we were talking about the animal kingdom, especially vertebrates, animals that have a backbone? Well, today we are going to focus on invertebrates. They don't have a backbone. There are six different groups. Sponges, cnidarians, worms, mollusks, gynoderms, and finally, arthropods. The first ones, sponges, are aquatic. They filter seawater through tiny holes to obtain food. And I am giving you some examples. These ones are two different types of sponges, but I'm showing to you the most famous sponge ever. Yay, SpongeBob! Do you love him, don't you? Cnidarians. Remember the pronunciation, please. Cnidarians. They have soft bodies with poisonous tentacles. Some can move about, and others can't. And I'm giving you some more examples. These are two different types of jellyfish. And this one is a kind of anemone. Worms. They have long, soft bodies. They don't have legs. Some are terrestrials and some are aquatic. I'm giving you some examples too. Here you are, two different types of worms. Oh wait, these are not real, but they are delicious, aren't they? Mollusks. They have soft bodies. Many mollusks have a hard external shell. Most are aquatic, but some live on land. And here you are some pictures. Snails. Squids. Hey, this is SpongeBob's pet. Hey. Echinoderms. They are marine animals. They have an eternal skeleton made up of plates. This is the inside of a starfish. And many echinoderms have spines. Here you are some examples. This is a starfish. This one is a sea urchin. Hey, and this is SpongeBob's best friend, Patricio. <clears throat> and finally, arthropods. They have an external skeleton, jointed legs, and a segmented body. In this group, we are going to find insects, arachnids, crustaceans, and myriapods. And I'm giving you some examples. This one is an insect. This was an arachnid, a spider, crustacean, and this one is a myriapod. And this is the end of the video, students. I hope you liked it. Bye-bye.